Hello, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. Welcome to today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. Thank you for viewing. Please feel free to visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get additional information on the book and you can connect with me on other social media platforms. Please enjoy this sports medicine video. On today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report, I'm gonna speak about target heart rate. A couple of videos ago, I spoke about target heart rate. I gave the classic formula for figuring out your target heart rate while training. Today, I'm going to go over another formula called the heart rate reserve formula, also known as the Carvanen formula. The Carvanen formula puts into account the person's resting heart rate, which is a good measurement of their current aerobic fitness. Obviously, to be able to use this formula, you have to know how to take your pulse. You can use technology if you have it, but if you don't have the technology, learn how to take your radio pulse or at your carotid artery. I have a video on that that you could watch. Very simple to learn how to do. It's going to help you when you are trying to determine your target heart rate. Target heart rate is a number that is used for efficiency reasons and for safety reasons. When we are using the Carvanen method, you want to determine your maximum heart rate. And the easiest number to use is you start with 220. Okay, 220, some people may tell you to use a different number. There may be some articles or some videos where they say you may want to use 209 or 209.6, and that's fine if you want to use it. But I always like to tell people to be as consistent as possible. So I always stick with the 220 as the starting number. And what you do with 220 is you subtract your age. On the last video I did about target heart rate, I did examples for 50 years old and for 20 years old. So I'm going to use those same ones on this video. So when we look at the maximum heart rate, we start with the number 220 and you subtract your age. So if we subtract 50 from 220, we have 170. Then from 170, you that is your maximum heart rate, you take your resting pulse. Now I mentioned you want to make sure, I want to make sure everyone knows how to take their pulse. So once you have determined what your resting pulse is, you subtract that number from your maximum heart rate. So we've already determined that the maximum heart rate for a 50 year old is 170. So just for example, to make the calculations easier, I'm gonna say that someone's resting heart rate is 70. So therefore, we take 70 and we subtract it from the maximum heart rate and that gives us 100. In this calculation, 100 is the heart rate reserve number. Now you wanna take the heart rate reserve number and you are going to multiply that times 0.5 and times 0.5. Eight. This is because we want to be consistent and we are looking at a target heart rate of 50% and 80% for your training. So you take, to in order to do 50%, obviously you multiply times 0.5. In order to get 80%, you multiply times 0.8. So in this example, the heart rate reserve number was 100. So 100 times 0.5, is 50 and then 100 times 0.8 is 80. Then you take both of those numbers and you add the resting heart rate to those numbers, to each of those numbers. So you have 50 and in this example, the person's resting heart rate was 70. So then the 50% number, I mean, I'm sorry, 50 plus 70 is 120 and then 80 plus 70 is 150. So this individual's, in this example, their target heart rate for training would be 120 beats per minute to 150 beats per minute. In the next example I'm going to use for determining 
target heart rate, we're going to take a 20-year-old and we are going to say he has a resting heart rate also of 70 beats per minute. So you take 220 and you subtract 20. So that gives us 200. And then we are going to subtract 70 from 200. So we get 130. So 130 is the heart rate reserve number. And then we are going to take 130 and we are going to multiply that times 0.5 and times 0.8. So when you multiply 130 times 0.5, you get 65. When you multiply 130 times 0.8, you get 104. So then we take those two numbers and we add back the resting heart rate. So therefore, 65 plus 70 is 135, and 104 plus 70 is 170. So we have determined using this formula that a 20 year old with a resting heart rate of 70 beats per minute should exercise in the target heart rate zone of 135 to 174. The Carvanen method, aka the heart rate reserve method, has a couple more steps than our classic target heart rate formula. It takes into account someone's resting heart rate. Obviously, resting heart rate in most cases is a measure of aerobic fitness. So this is a really good formula that you could use to make your workouts safer and to make your workouts more efficient. Like I said, I like to use the 50 to 80 range, but you could use different numbers. Say if you want to use 65 to 75, whatever works for you, you want to experiment with those numbers and figure out what works for you. The Carvanen method is a great formula to use. I am going to actually have the formula in the notes. Thank you for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozello Sports Medicine Report. I greatly appreciate it. Like I said, in the notes below, I am going to have the formula written down for you and you could do your own calculations. If you do not know how to find your resting heart rate, how to take your pulse, please watch my other video on finding your pulse. And also watch my other video on target heart rate so you know the difference between these two formulas. But again, I want to say thank you very much for viewing today's episode. If you have any feedback, if you have questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Please feel free to like this video. Also, go to my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get additional information on my book, Running, Maximize Performance, and Minimize Injuries. Please always remember, train hard, train smart, stay injury free, make the best food choices you possibly can, and accomplish your goals. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada.